we really specifically address each individual according to their strengths and needs. And in creating an intentional community, it's what we often come back to. And when we talk about our school community, we call it an intentional community because we inform and educate all the students around the challenges that people face when they experience oppression, abuse, or discrimination. And the population has a huge amount of empathy, and usually their lived experiences of trauma have given them a broader bandwidth in which to see the world. So there's a lot of wisdom and a lot of felt sense of experience that uh, they can see and relate to one another, and that peer acceptance of knowing they're all here because they've been, been through and survived adverse experiences creates a community of understanding and empathy. And for the most part, we have a very peaceful, accepting, regulated environment.